Hey everybody, my name is Dan Timogorgas, and welcome back to RuneScape! Oh yeah, back at it again with some old school RuneScape. In the last episode, we only did the first quest, the cook's assistant for the Duke's birthday. Level up my, you know, my fighting, cutting trees, fishing, cooking, just kind of general leveling up and just still getting into the basics. You know, we're still kind of a noob. And disclaimer, I couldn't get into my old account, forgot the password, whatever. So instead of X Demogorgus X, it's just X Demogorgus. I just had to get back here. All I did was tutorial island and the cook's assistant, but we're all caught up and let the journey continue. All right, let's see if this works. So I think it's control left click to run. I'm trying to just get familiar with everything. I love the music. So yeah, I'm just gonna be chopping down trees, doing the basics. Just chilling. So I was always curious if other people have played old school RuneScape or, you know, growing up or have nostalgia for it because I love it and I, I want to keep playing it more. I think it's a, I think it's a fun game. Let's talk to this guy. Venture John. Hello, Demogorgus. What can I do for you? Do you have any Adventurous Path starter kits for me? Adventure John gives you a Combat Path starter kit. Here are all your starter kits. Nice. A long time ago, I was a newbie just like you who didn't know what to do. And I would be more than happy to pass on my experience. I've created some Adventure Paths, which I recommend you start off with. An Adventure Path is a list of tasks you could complete in any order. To help you get started on your adventure path, I'll also give you a starter kit with some useful items. Once you complete an adventure path task, come to me and I'll give you a reward. Okay. Can you show me some adventure paths? Of course, here you go. Combat path. Reach level five with the attack skill. Reach level five in fishing. You can find a fishing net from the fishing tutor south of Lumbridge Graveyard. Get level five wood cutting. Okay, so let's just try to get level five in fighting, wood cutting, uh, possibly some mining as well. You know, just start with the basics. Okay, so I'm gonna get wood cutting to level five. All right, wood cutting is level three now. Your inventory is full. You can bank your items at the bank and you can find a bank by looking at this icon at the world map or mini map. You can also follow the hint arrow to the bank. Okay. There's a bank at the top of Lumbridge Castle. You could use your Lumbridge home teleport to get there, or you could walk. Oh, level four. Ah, so it's right there. Gotcha. Lumbridge home teleport. All right. Let's use the Lumbridge home teleport. Why didn't it work? Oh. Is it working? Oh. It's at the top. Kind of inconvenient. This is your bank. No one else can touch it but you. All right. So it gave us that. Let's put on all these. I like the way my character looks. Hey, free outfit. I got a cool wizard hat. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Back to cutting wood. Get to level five. There's music. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Level five, wood cutting. Speak to adventure, John, and claim your reward. All right, let's go claim our reward. I did a thing. I like to claim my adventure's path reward. You've completed getting started with wood cutting. You received one iron ax and 20 logs. 
As you level up your wood cutting skill, you will gain access to higher level axes that you can use to gather logs at a faster rate. That's the last rewards you have currently earned. Nice. Better be going now. Well, I might as well burn all these logs. <laughs> get, get that leveled up too. Fire making level two. We could try to get that to level five. Level five. I still got plenty more though. Might as well just keep burning them. Level six. Okay, we got level six fire making. Now let's get our fishing up, level five. Let's go south of Lumbridge. Hello, who are you? Count check. Hello, Demagogus. You look like you have seen a ghost. Well, not a ghost, but well, you're a vampire, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in Mauritania? Ah, uh, yes, I beast that place, so lovely and dark. I left there when I heard the terrible news, and now I choose to spend the rest of my days warning others of the perils that lay in wait for them. Terrible news? Peril? I don't like the sound of this. Is there something I should know? Yes, be warned! The travelers of these lands face dangers from outside. Accounts that allow them to access this magical place can be stolen. And when that happens, they could lose everything they have worked so hard for. I've left my vampire ways behind me and now spend my days letting everyone know of this terrible danger. In return for my dedication, I have been blessed with the unique ability to be able to check if adventurers who speak with me are ready to defend themselves against these account thieves. You are using the authenticator. Excellent. This will help keep your account secure. You really should set a bank pin if your account does get stolen your items in the bank and other places like the GE the Grand Exchange will be safe day how may I help you I'd like to check my pin settings so I need to set up a bank pin your pin has been set now active you have a bank pin this is good but make sure that it's one it can't be easily guessed yeah I want to go to the fishing tutor and the mining tutor He looks, he looks like he could teach me something. Can you teach me the f basics of fishing, please? I see you already have a net. Look for the icon in the mini map to find fishing spots. They will move as the fish swim around so you can't be lazy. Ahoy, to fish you click on the shrimp fishing spot while you carry in a net. I see, is that it? There's far more as you progress. Not just strips, you get more equipment, bigger fish, and other things too. When you have a full inventory, you can cook it or take it to the bank. You can find a bank on the roof of the castle in Lumbridge and a cooking range in the kitchen castle. Nice, nice. Where and what should I fish? A young and enthusiastic fisher. Try south to drain or village or the pier on the island of Kararmia to fish for shrimp at level one or sardines at level five. A, hey, me parrot concurs. Arr. What parrot? Me parrot Percy on me shoulder thou Arr. Okay, sir, parrot on your shoulder. Arr. Goodbye. All right, well. So can I fish here? You cast your net. All right, so I'm gonna get my fish into level five. Five hours later. Level two. Yeah, yeah. Just cook all the shrimp. Cooking's level five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can now cook herring. Cool, cool. Don't be burning the shrimp. Don't be burning my scrim. Level six. Members can now make fruit blast. I ain't no member. Where the hell is this guy? I ordered that shrimp two hours ago. Uh-oh. Looks like you should have ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. Hurry Up Shrimp? Well, that just sounds fast. 
On average, Americans spend upwards of 50,000 hours waiting for shrimp over the course of their lives. When I heard that, I thought to myself, why on earth don't these guys just hurry up? So that's just what we did. Come on, come on! No way this is the shrimp. Wow, it is! Hurry up, shrimp! Hurry up, shrimp! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, shrimp! Not responsible. Back, you foul beast! <laughs> I love the graphics. Simplicity. Yeah, I gotta, gotta get my attack up. I got plenty of shrimp. There it is. Dead. Rat meat. Let's bury the bones. All right, level four. So close. All right, I'm now level five on fishing. Took a minute, but now let's see about uh, bring our mining to level five. Level two. Nice. Level four. Can you teach me the basics of mining, please? Look for this icon on your mini map to find mining rocks. Mining tutor. As you already have a pick, you can mine the rocks around me. If you want to know what ore is in the rock before you mine it, right click the rock and select prospect for the menu. It'll take a little time, but you'll find out what's in the rock before you mine. You can also tell the ore you'll get from the colors of the rock. To mine, simply click on the rock to mine it. While well, you got a pickaxe with you. Are there any mining related quests? Ah yes, if you haven't already, speak to Dorak who can be found around the anvils north of Falador. I'm sure he can help you out. Okay. Noted. Goodbye. We're back up in the mines. Got our pickaxe swinging from Creeper. side to side, side, oh, side man. to side. So we you know I had to do it. You know I had to do it to him. And I keep that bread on me. You know I keep that motherfucking bread on me. Just in case. All right, let's get to level five. Level five, yeah, 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 yeah. Task complete. Get started with mining. Boom. Congratulations. Completed all the tasks for the gatherer path. All right, so let's go see adventurer John. I'd like to claim my adventure path rewards. You have completed getting started with fishing. Receive one fishing rod and a hundred fishing bait. Yes. You have completed getting started with mining. You receive one iron pickaxe, 20 tin ore, and 20 copper ore. As you level up your mining skill, you gain access to better pickaxes, which you can use. The better the pickaxe, the easier it is to gather ores for mining. Adventure John gives you one lamp of the gatherer. That is the last of the rewards that you currently earned. Completed the gatherer path. And I think uh, I want to do the combat path next. You know what I mean? And do some of the quest. I'm going to leave it off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know if you've ever played RuneScape. Or if you want me to keep playing it. I'm enjoying it so far. This is uh, very nostalgic. It's pretty chill. The playful philosopher quote of the day is... Does the walker choose the path? Or the path? The Walker, Garth Nix.
And I thought that was appropriate because of the, the gatherer path we chose. Sometimes you like to do the things that you want. I like that this game has the choice of if you want to focus on combat or gathering. I'll leave a playlist on his career right now for RuneScape. And also a playlist to Minecraft. Another game I, I think you might like. And also a random video. And if you like the video, consider subscribing. Share it with a friend. Hit that notification bell. You know, say what's up. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.